Hey, it's Gino O'Reilly. Welcome to Talk of the Town. And I'm here with two lovely ladies from the Guernsey County, the Humane Society of Guernsey County. I'm here with Charlene. She's the Humane Officer. And Cindy, who is a volunteer at the Humane Society. Two important, well, three important dates coming up here around our area for animals that need spayed or neutered. And they're, you're having the spay and neuter clinics, the, the pop-up clinics, right? Uh, it's coming to Cambridge, and it's also coming to McConnellsville. McConnellsville's first. It's on Friday, October 4th, but it's a cat only in McConnellsville. Correct. And if people want to know more about this, to get more information and to register to be part of any of these clinics, you go to pub.vet. That's P-U-B dot V-E-T. Make sure your animal is bathed the day before. And you do have to register online pay a $10 registration fee. And if you are a veteran, low income, or elderly, you can qualify for some grant funds that will help uh, pay that balance that you will owe for the um, services rendered. Which uh, for, for dogs. For, and that's for dogs. And you don't get the grant funds for cats. Uh, there's other financial assistance through the Humane Society. Okay, um, so they could just, will they find that out when they go to pub.vet? Yes. No. Yes, they will. It's on the website. It's oh, on the okay. website. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, real quick, we're just running through these because there are three different dates. Like I said, McConnellsville, October 4th, that's the first one coming up. And it's cat only. But let's talk about the Cambridge one, based here in Cambridge, which is dogs on October 5th. Um, Charlene, we just talked about veterans, low income, elderly. They qualify for grant funds. Right. Yes. Um, with the wonderful assistance from the Robert and Leona Fellers Foundation, we were able to offer that. Absolutely. And that's amazing. The Robert and Leona Fellers Foundation uh, kind of boosted this project along for the Humane Society to really get it, out here and do this for the They actually made it possible. Absolutely. Awesome. We appreciate that. And, I mean, this is just something we need. You know, it's it's getting spayed and neutered is hard enough to, uh, you know, get that done. It's usually pretty costly. But this is pretty affordable. Uh, costs begin at $150 for dogs. So, and it's dogs under 20 pounds, dogs over 20 pounds. As long as your dog's six weeks old or older, they can get this done, correct? Correct. And when you do bring your dog, you're going to want to bring two towels and, or your cat because the animals, as I've learned, when they're sedated, they cannot regulate their body temperatures as well. So they'll want to wrap them or cover them with towels to make sure that they are comforted uh, after the surgery, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so let's go through this. The dogs are welcome from any county. And they have to register online, like we said before, pub.vet. Same day service, drive up, check in, discharge, all happens within about an hour, right? Um, they'll pick up their pet later um, once their the service is completed. So it's about an hour process for them to drive up, drop their, drop off drop their pet off, mm -hmm. and register. There'll be more detailed information, right? Paperwork and stuff like that. Correct. So they'll do all that. That'll be so planned for about an hour process when you drop your animal off, and then you'll get a time to pick up your animal later. Correct. At the same location. Yes. Okay, perfect. And like I said, the cost for dogs begins at $150 based on size of your dog. And for more information, you're going to want to go to pub.vet. I'm going to keep saying that website because it's so important. Everybody does have to pre-register for every appointment. That way you get the information of where the location is going to be, which the Cambridge ones will be based in Cambridge, somewhere central that people can easily get to, right? Correct. And then the dog one, like I said, October 5th, the cat clinic is coming to cambridge october 6th yes. sunday yes sunday october 6th Absolutely. and cats are um regular regularly a hundred dollars for a cat or kittens six weeks or older correct you also need to bring your towels for those also clean yes. towels yes and please make sure your animals cleaned the day before not necessarily a bath we're saying that they need, just need to be cleaned up i mean if they've been in the mud for two days you might want to give them a bath. Kind of but, common sense. Yes, yes common yes. sense. Because stuff. they're getting ready to have surgery. Yes. <laughs> so you want them to be clean. Yes. We want to, yeah, no no urine, no you feces, know, feces on yeah. them, you know, that kind of thing. Absolutely. Common sense stuff. This is just, <clears throat> just like taking your animal to the vet. It's yeah. just like that. But we're going to have a clinic that you bring your cat up to, up to the, um, the place that we're doing it. You register your animal. We'll take your animal from you and put it into the facilities. You come back around 7, whatever time we tell you to come back, and it makes it just so much easier 
on everybody. So it takes about an hour to drop off and pick up as well. Mm -hmm. Right. And so you're holding these on the weekend so that it's it's manageable for people with families and jobs and things, Correct. Yes. which is great. Um, the cats, it's a less than a $10 online deposit right. for cats and dogs. Yes. And you have to register online. I can't push that enough. You have to get that registration in at www.pub, as in boy, dot vet. Correct. Pub dot vet. And then you'll get an, a registration emailed to you as to the clinic location. Yep. And more detailed instructions, um, both pre-op and post-op instructions. Excellent. And they will not get the location unless they do that pre-registration online. Exactly. Right. And from what I understand, the cat clinic on Sunday, there are some limited spaces there. So you want to get registered for that one if you want to get your cat into that one right away. Correct. And, and But if they are not able to make the Sunday cat clinic, um, the McConnellsville location has um, a few more spots presently available and, and that, we and we would on October 4th yes okay and we would honor if they contact the Humane Society office at 740-439-1903 they could receive a paper voucher to take with them and we would honor the the, the $35 off at that oh. McConnellsville location well that's excellent and like she said the $35 off it's um if requested at the clinic Guernsey County cats will receive $35 off towards their spay or neuter. Right. So that's the $35 off you're talking about. Right, yes. And you said you'll honor that at McConnell, McConnellsville if they can't get it, make it to the Sunday one. Yes, they just need to make sure that they have sufficient time to contact our office and, and either swing by and pick up the paper voucher or we can, um, if there's time, mail it to them. Excellent. Well, um, we're going to have these posted. Are these already on our community calendar? Not yet. We will post these on our community calendar to make sure you can go there to see these flyers with all the information that we're talking about here. But And they'll also be on our social medias. We'll make sure we post them there. Um, and just make sure your dog's clean. Make sure you get pre-registered at pub.vet. And like I said, there's a $10 registration fee that does go towards your total cost at the end of the spay-neuter. Um, so no worries there and if you're a veteran a low income or elderly for the dogs you can apply for those grant funds to get those from the robert and leona fellers foundation them helping out correct and the cats is an, it's an automatic they do not need to ask for the financial assistance up front if they come to the clinic and they um for the cambridge location if they come to the cambridge location um it's um and they ask for the 35 dollars, they do not need a paper voucher for that Excellent. So you just just the McConnellsville one. We need to, of course, verify that they're. If you're going to transfer the yeah, funds from the need, Cambridge to McConnellsville. Yes, we do, of course need to verify that they're Guernsey County residents, and um, the the vet staff don't know who's from Correct. Guernsey County and who's not. So. So if they come, if they go to the Cambridge location um, to get that thirty-five dollars off, they just need to have their ID shown that they live here. Yeah, they can just tell exactly. Us. They can just they can <laughs> just tell me. Just they can just tell me. Okay. <laughs> yep. It's it's a lot it, less restrictive it is, than it voting. Is, it is that simple. <laughs> hey, and that's what we love that you're it's, making it's, this it's, simple. If, if, if they show up and they and they they request it and they need it, um, they'll get it. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you guys so much, and this is a lot of work, uh, but it's really needed in our community. Uh, we don't want animals reproducing that don't have anyone to take care of them we see how many roll into the humane society and the dog shelter and everywhere all the time um so thank you for this and that's our goal we're hoping that with um the support from the community yeah. that we would like to be able to to continue offering the services for the dogs absolutely um, if there's any corporate or private sponsors out there um there were talking about continuing to have dog clinics. They can reach out to you at the uh, Humane Society of Guernsey County if they're interested in sponsoring something like that or finding out how they can contribute to help. Yes, that would be wonderful. Again, that number is 740-439-1903. Well, we'll get the word out. That's right. Thank you, ladies. Thank you so much for your help.